We know that just one minute can mean the difference between life and death during a fire, and high call volume can add extra pressure. But that's what the Appleton Fire Department expects this year, a high number of calls. Here's Appleton Fire's call volume over the last five years. According to the department's latest annual report, those numbers increased every year, with 2020 being the exception. We can see calls went up about 20% from 2016 to 2020. And fire officials expect calls to increase again by about 10% this year, which means they could be looking at nearly 6,500 fire calls for 2021. Knowing that higher call volume can create more challenges, the Appleton Fire Department is getting a new fleet, hoping moderate advancements could have life-saving benefits in the long term. So NBC26's Kelsey Dickinson has the latest in fire truck technology now. Emergency lights flashing and wheels turning. These brand new fire trucks will soon be the first to arrive at a fire scene which is why they need to be in tip top shape before they ever leave here. It looks like three lights, turn your light out. This is the blue floor at Pierce Manufacturing in Appleton. Firefighters from all over the country inspect the trucks before they ship out, checking off long lists. And we're just going through this thing line by line, making sure everything is on the truck and it's installed the way that we ordered it. These fire trucks can come in hundreds of colors, but one request many departments have is going green. Ken Sabo, pumper business development manager for Pierce, says new technology allows trucks to run on lithium batteries at a fire scene. The truck is, is not idling, which it normally is at a scene, and it just prevents the truck from using fuel. You know, maintenance costs are lower, you know, and we're not putting pollutants into the air. Sabo says most of the trucks are also larger than they used to be, with more room for storage. We see a lot more EMS calls and their, their missions have changed, so the trucks are getting bigger in a lot of cases where they have to carry a lot more equipment. We end up, you know, designing trucks that are, you know, for those missions in mind. That's what's happening with the Appleton Fire Department. It is something where as our calls increase, the apparatus become busier. It's really been challenging to, to keep up with the call volume, but it is something that you know we're prepared for. To do that, the department has taken on a multi-year effort to replace its fleet. The most recent additions, a Pierce engine and aerial truck. Aside from the 107 foot tall ladder on top, one of the biggest differences between this truck and others is the single rear axle tire, which helps drivers make tight turns while going to and from calls. The newest engine carries integral rescue tools like the Jaws of Life. And what this does is it allows us to, to quickly access the equipment that we need for an accident and not have to set up an additional power supply to be able to use these to cut open a car to get somebody out in the event of an accident. They're powered directly from the engine, um, the, the motor on the engine itself. So um, it, it helps us greatly reduce our times. A heavier suspension allows more equipment to be stored. At the rear is a rescue compartment with sliding boards that go all the way through the truck. These apparatus are, you know, they're critical for us and to be able to do what we need to do. Henson says response time takes on average six minutes from the time the alarm bells go off to when crews pull up on scene. He says Appleton's newest trucks could shave off even a few critical seconds. It allows our, our members to get there safer, to get there faster, to, to carry more equipment and to do more um, with the apparatus that they have. And that, that ensures that we provide a higher level of service and that um, our members are able to go home at the end of the day. Henson says the new equipment lasts between 10 and 15 years, but the benefits can last a lifetime. In Appleton, alongside photojournalist Josh Visti, Kelsey Dickinson, NBC26. Certainly so much going on with those fire trucks in the Appleton Fire Department's newest aerial truck cost almost $1.1 million. Fire officials say they're hoping to get one more new truck to add to the fleet.